Does this make sense to you? Scenario fitting by Skepticat. Part 3. Ventilators, a death sentence. Narrated by Andrew Mather. Treatment of patients. Action if acting in the interest of the population. Adapt protocols quickly. Collect clinical observations on the nature of the disease and the best treatment as fast as possible. Adapt protocols quickly to save lives. UK Government Action. Ignore clinical findings, clinical data and conclusions in early April ignored. After similar findings abroad and at a UK hospital were publicised 1.5 months later, the NHS is now planning to update protocols. Ventilators are killing COVID patients. A study of outcomes in New York published on Wednesday in the Journal of American Medical Association found that 88% of those put on mechanical ventilation in critical care units died. Mortality of COVID patients put on ventilators in ICU has been very high from the start. Coronavirus patients on ventilators are unusually likely to die, causing some doctors to change strategy. Normally around 40% of patients would be expected to die while receiving mechanical ventilation. For COVID patients, the rate has been 70% to 90% as reported in China, New York and the UK. Intensive care doctors question overly aggressive use of ventilators in coronavirus crisis. The unusually high death rate on ventilators, ventilators led some doctors to try different protocols early on. Top doctors leaked memo reveals concern over coronavirus treatment approach. Birmingham, the Royal Free, UCL have moved towards a greater use of non-invasive ventilation. Interestingly, Boris Johnson was also on CPAP, non-invasive intubation. Coronavirus allocating ICU beds and ventilators based on age is discriminatory. Yet most hospitals continue putting seriously ill COVID patients on ventilators as a matter of course. The government's public announcement centred on the availability of ventilators and having to make choices about who gets to be put on ventilators. Doctors seeing patients with blood oxygen, blood oxygen levels so low, they are surprised they are conscious, yet they are sitting up and talking. Not only have many doctors found that ventilators cause more harm than good and simply avoiding them already led to better outcomes, some doctors have concluded already in early April that the COVID treatment protocols seemed inappropriate. ICU doctors find we are treating the wrong disease. A New York COVID ICU doctor found by early April, we are operating under a medical paradigm that is untrue. I believe we are treating the wrong disease, and I fear that this misguided treatment will lead to a tremendous amount of harm to a great number of people in a very short time. Later, similar conclusions were reached by other researchers in several countries, and new treatment protocols were suggested. Blood thinning drugs can help save the lives of coronavirus patients by stopping dangerous clots forming on the lungs, British scientists discover. The Royal Brompton Hospital reached the same conclusion by mid-May. Clinical management of persons admitted to hospital with suspected COVID-19 infection. As of June 12th, 2020, we are still waiting for the NHS COVID protocol to be updated. In summary, the mortality of COVID patients put on ventilators in ICU had been very high from the start. Ventilators have turned out to be less of a treatment and more of a death sentence. There were early indications that this was the wrong treatment. Several British hospitals have found that non-invasive ventilation should be favoured. Others have suggested that we have been treating the wrong disease and recommended different treatment approaches yet the NHS protocols have not been revised. Skepticate says, this makes no sense. Join us for part four, why so little interest in curing COVID. Thank you for watching. You can reach me, Kat, Skepticat, at skepticat at peerlessreads.com, Andrew and Kat see that, or privately at cat at skepticat.com.